I've taken shots 1,400 meters, and I've had friends that have taken shots over 2,000 meters successfully. In Afghanistan, getting a kill at over 2,430 meters. When you're hit by a large caliber like this, you're down. I'd like to introduce you to the Barrett 107 rifle. It can say hello to you at over a mile and a half away. It's designed to take out lightly armored vehicles. There have even been confirmed reports of it cutting a man in half at over 1,400 meters. Ronnie Barrett invented this successful combat weapon to the U.S. Army, designing every part himself. I designed the rifle, I marketed the rifle, we mass produced the rifle. So I didn't just design it and turn it over to someone else, I'm still here with it. There have only been about four men in the last 100 years that have uh, designed guns that were fielded to U.S. troops, and I'm the fourth one. You have John Browning, Gene Stoner, John Garan, Ronnie Barrett. Barrett's inspiration stemmed from the limitations of the World War II Browning machine gun. The weight and recoil of the Browning made it impossible to shoot a heavy caliber bullet without being mounted on a vehicle or a turret. Now he's designed a portable weapon that can deliver this firepower from a sniper rifle. What makes the Barrett M107 so unique? The ability to be able to fire it at low recoil impulse right. allows the shooter to be able to continue sustained fire without him losing his ability to shoot well. So, how did he create a shoulder-fired weapon that wouldn't tear a soldier's arm clean off? By using a floating barrel, extra springs, and buffer parts in the body, he's managed to spread the recoil throughout the weapon. The biggest breakthrough was lowering recoil by almost 70%. He created a new dual chamber muzzle brake. This arrow-shaped design redirects high-speed gun gas as the bullet exits the barrel, forcing the bullet forward and keeping the gun stable. The M107 was selected by the U.S. Army as one of the top 10 inventions of 2005 for the fight against the War on Terror. Major John Clearwater commanded two U.S. Special Forces units, and the Barrett undoubtedly proved itself to be the weapon of choice for his soldiers. The Barrett has had tremendous success with Army Special Forces teams in Somalia and Afghanistan and Iraq, where in all of those countries, in all those areas of operation, it has taken out mortar crews, it's taken out heavy machine gun positions, and it's taken out light trucks at over a mile away long before the enemy ever knew what was hitting them. This powerful new stealth rifle has turned the tables on insurgents. Now the hunter has become the hunted. It completely depletes their morale. It takes them down to the point where they never know where death might strike them from. It's a probably one of the most cost-effective, efficient weapons on the battlefield and certainly one of the most feared. The Barrett fires one of the biggest bullets in the world. They're normally fired from machine guns, but Barrett created a semi-automatic 50 caliber sniper rifle. Just imagine the fear that creates in the enemy. This is the 223 round. It is the standard round for most US military rifles. This is the 308. Uh, it is a standard round for the AK-47. This is the 50 caliber round. This round, when fired from the Barrett M107, flies at 2,700 feet per second and can take out an armored personnel carrier. Trust me, you don't want to be in one of those when one of these is flying around. When you're hit by a large caliber like this, you're down. It is impressed upon the enemy that this is something you don't want to come up against. What we have been learning here in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq, a lot of our targets are inside the city. So not only are we just having to look at uh, a long range target, but a target that may be barricaded in behind sandbags or behind brick walls, and the 50 caliber does a great job on those type of targets. To be an effective sniper on the battlefield, you really have to acquire targets very quickly, and you have to put effective rounds down range. 
with the old style sniper rifles, you used to have to pull the bolt all the way out, put a round in the chamber, and then put that bolt all the way back to fire another round. That could take anywhere between 15 to 20 seconds. Now, that's a long time when targets need to be hit. What's amazing about the Barrett is that it can actually deliver 10 rounds down range in less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. That's the last place you want to be. So, John, can I fire one of these off? Yeah, let's do it. I am genuinely excited. It has been a long time behind. That's cool. That was pretty good shooting. <laughs> not, not as good as you there, buddy. You're a little left. Me, you're close. Last round. All right. Is there two rounds here? No. Nope. Just one. Yeah. Where the hell was it? Let's take a look at the back. Well, you no. know, it's yep. been blown twice. See this? You're right. That is Come on, too. buddy. Come on, hey. Yeah, good job. Go. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that's not too bad. One of the things that surprised the heck out of me is there's no kick on that thing. Yeah. I shoot a bolt, man. I shoot, I shoot just three or four of those things. I'm yeah, feeling like yeah, somebody's just go punching home. me in the shoulder <laughs> the whole day, you know? Yeah. By the time you shot 20 rounds, you're like, oh, man, I want to go home. I'm done. So this thing, I didn't even feel it. So the rifle handles really well in the test range, but... Its inventor says it's capable of so much more. The sniper team engaged a Taliban position and took out machine gunners and hit one Taliban rifleman at 2,430 meters away. It's an amazing shot, an amazing distance, and he punched through tin that the, that the rifleman was hiding behind to kill the man. At this range, the target is just about out of sight. A mile away, that's an easy shot for a Barrett. With the right ammunition, it will travel out there at over 2,000 to 3,000 feet per second, long before the sound ever reaches the people that it's hitting. I'll be shooting the Barrett at a range of 1,000 yards. We've set up two battle scenarios, a large steel plate that's just like the metal used by lightly armored vehicles, and a set of concrete cinder blocks over three feet thick, similar to the walls used by insurgents for protection in today's urban combat. Just five standard rounds per target. Let's see if this weapon can cut it at this incredible distance. With bullets traveling 2,700 feet per second, nearly three times the speed of sound, the enemy is down well before he even hears the bang. start to see the, the brick coming apart. Try not to get too excited. You just want to enjoy it. But it's pretty impressive, man, to see that this is actually getting a result. I mean, you're so far back, you kind of have a feeling things are going. You know, you kind of see things breaking up. But I'll tell you what, I'm surprised. Well, I am too. There's a lot of energy on that round. Even though we're shooting so far, even when the projectile gets here, it's still got a lot of power behind it, you know? It's already gone through the other side. I'll tell you, you know what? If you're the bad guy, it's over. We are on a private range, and explosive armored piercing bullets are only available through the military. But these standard rounds show what the potential damage could be. When you look at this, you ain't even got a slightest bit of penetration going on right here. Uh, let's see what we got. We got a little bit of the ball sticking through right here. It's over half a mile, and it's, and it's just starting to penetrate. Now, you add to that armor piercing capability, maybe a little explosive capability, it's right through. Yep. And that's where it does the real damage when it's on the other side. It's destruction like this that makes the Barrett such a lethal weapon. It turns sniper units that have them into the world's most feared stealth warriors. 